Hi, I'm here to talk about a wonderful cultural and arts event that's happening right here in Salisbury, Maryland. In the studio with me are John Wesley Wright, Dr. John Wesley Wright, who is an assistant professor of voice at Salisbury University, and Tara Gladden, who is the manager of the Salisbury University Art Galleries, and they've got some wonderful news for you. Welcome, you two. Thank Delighted you. Delighted to be here. Nice to be here. John, I want to start with you, okay. because one of the things that's gotten me excited is that the American Spiritual Ensemble is here probably for their sixth visit, and they are an amazing, I always say they're awesome and amazing American Spiritual Ensemble. So what brings them back to Salisbury? Well, this is a very special return visit. There is uh, a very special uh, exhibition that is uh, at the galleries, the university galleries at the moment, the works of an Eastern Shore artist by the name of Ruth Starr Rose. Mm -hmm. And uh, a body, a large body of her work is the visualizing of African American spirituals. So when I learned from uh, our dean last spring that, uh, that this was happening, it was a no-brainer to, to try to get the American Spiritual Ensemble to be a part of that. Okay. Now, one thing I know about the American Spiritual Ensemble is that their mission is to keep the American Spiritual alive. Say a little bit more about that. Okay. Uh, the, the group is in its 22nd season. It was founded by uh, our wonderful director, Dr. Everett McCorvey. He is uh, on the faculty of the University of Kentucky in Lexington. And 22 years ago, he was noticing in schools and in churches that the young folks uh, were only listening to gospel and were starting to lose or not be aware of what a spiritual was. And so he founded the American Spiritual Ensemble. And I believe at that time it was, um, you know, eight of his, his closest friends. Uh, we, we now have a, a roster of, of professional singers of over 100 people. And it's a very different, different animal at this, at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, yes, it, in, its, uh, in its infancy, uh, Dr. McCorvey's um, goal was to educate folks about the origins of the Negro slave, it, slave's music. Good, good. Now, Tara, want to talk, have you talked to us about the tie-in between the spiritual and the artist Ruth Star Rose? Tell us a bit about the exhibit. I understand it's going to be in three places. It's going to go for a month and a half or a couple months. Talk to us about that. Yeah, the, exhibi the exhibition is called Ruth Star Rose, 1887 through uh, 1965, Revelations of African American Life in Maryland and the World. Ruth Star Rose was uh, a white artist of privilege. Uh, her family bought uh, a farm uh, that they called Hope in Talbot County, not far from Y. Um, and they were very forward-thinking individuals. Um, and they befriended uh, a lot of the domestic workers uh, that worked in their home. And they befriended the African-American community um, in the area. And so uh, Ruth Star Rose began painting. Uh, she started with uh, oil paintings of some of the domestic workers who she also considered her friends. Um, and she also began studying the spiritual. She got very involved uh, in the, in the uh, De Shields uh, Methodist Church. And uh, Clarence, De, uh, Clarence De, Sh De Shields uh, began uh, teaching her about spirituals. And she became very involved, became a student uh, of the African American spiritual, and uh, began to make lithographs of the spirituals. Um, and um, she would run them by the people in the congregation, show them to the people of the congregation, and kept working on them uh, to try and really create uh, an accurate uh, visual representation mm -hmm. of what they saw, of what they felt uh, when, when they were singing these spirituals in the church. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So 
Tell us where people can come and see those pictures. Sure. Um, they, uh, the exhibition has three parts. Uh, one part is called Visualizing African American Spirituals. Another part is called uh, Ruth and the World. And those two sections of the exhibition are on view in the University Gallery uh, in Fulton Hall on campus. And then there is a third section uh, of the exhibition called um, uh, the Eastern Shore Paintings. Uh, and those paintings are on view at the NAB Center in the new Academic Commons. Um, Which is fantastic. The, okay. Yeah, yeah, So that beautiful. will give people an opportunity to come to the campus, yes. see, see a brand, brand new, new building, building yes. and see this wonderful array of art. Yes, the, uni the University this Gallery, uh, they're on view through October 29th. And uh, uh, the, the, the NAB Center, the paintings are on view through December 2nd. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope many people take advantage of that opportunity. And I hope many people take advantage of the opportunity to hear the American <laughs> Spiritual Ensemble. Because you mentioned the, the, the vision of your dean to say, here's an Eastern Shore artist who depicted the American Spirituals, and here we have a group who keeps the spirituals alive and continually expands them and, and introduces them to different audiences, not only in this country, but across the world. And the gift is that not only are you here in concert, and we'll come to that in a bit, but you're here for an entire week as artists in residence. Give us kind of a rundown about that, John. So the mission of the American Spiritual has obviously gone beyond preserving the Negro spiritual um, and has uh, become one of outreach. Um, we make it a point in every city, every country that we uh, tour in, uh, we make a point of connecting with young people and we make a point of connecting with community. So I have put together um, a, a week of events starting with master classes uh, at the university with the Salisbury University voice majors. Mm -hmm. We will then uh, have a, our very first uh, concert in Cambridge next Wednesday. Then a visit to Wicomico High School where I believe all, all of the, um, the music students in the county are but being bussed mm -hmm. in and we'll do a school the show there, yes. right? Mm -hmm. We'll have our first visit at UMES, and then we will have uh, a concert in Oxford and the a culminating concert in Salisbury on September 17th. So it's a big the, week. Sounds awesome, sounds amazing, sounds wonderful, just like the ensemble. <laughs> okay, the concert here in Salisbury, let's yes. start there so we make sure people know where to go, what time to be there, and yes. what the cost is. Well, I do want to just also make a distinction about the, the Salisbury concert. The Salisbury concert is a full concert. Um, so if you want to see the full shebang uh, of, of what everything that uh, is offered by the Spiritual Ensemble, you want to come to the Salisbury concert. It takes place at Asbury United Methodist Church, Saturday, September 17th at 7.30 p.m. The tickets range from um, ten to, to twenty dollars. We try which to is, which is which is a, you, you, is, mm -hmm. is it is possible for me to up the prices right now? <laughs> uh, well, if anybody just wants to make a donation, yeah, if, anybody support, wants, if anybody wants, you to can make pay fifty dollars. You can pay a hundred dollars. But no, that, that is an amazing, amazing price. It, it is an amazing for, for, price for, for community members, adults. Yes. twenty dollars. And yes. if you are a senior, senior citizen, citizen, 15. Mm -hmm. And senior citizen rate starts at 60. Yes. That's, yes. that's great. Mm -hmm. We try to make it very accessible mm -hmm. to everyone. Mm -hmm. If you are a student that, uh, you know, is a, non, as a, uh, a student at SU, gets a free ticket. Tickets. Non uh, SU students, $5. How can you? What a gift. Yeah, what a gift. What a gift to the community. What a gift that Salisbury University is bringing the music and the art to the community. Now, the exhibits 
is it, am I right to assume that that's free of charge, that people can just come and yes. browse at their leisure? And uh, it, how about time frames with the galleries? Yeah, the, the exhibitions are free. All are welcome. Um, there are a few different hours. Uh, the University Gallery at Fulton Hall is open uh, Monday through Thursday from uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 12 to 4. And the NAB Center hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, good, good, good. I'd just like to chime in, in and say that I was able to take in the exhibit for the first time uh, yesterday um, and the we had worked very hard to seen some images by Ruth Star Rose and so we worked very hard to make this the um, the ensemble program uh, coincide with with things so um, these these lithographs are, are really something to behold mm -hmm. And uh, we couldn't get all of the pieces uh, to coincide, but there are certain pieces like um, Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel, uh, Ezekiel Saw the Wheel. Um, you know, we'll be singing some Porgy and Bess numbers that uh, refer to uh, Jonah and the whale, different biblical stories and images. And, uh, and, th and these are things that you can see in the gallery. Uh, mm -hmm someone's vision of, of uh, history. It's so amazing. it's safe to say that if people don't get there before the concert, if they come to the concert, they definitely want to go to see the exhibits in the gallery, whether it's on campus, definitely on campus, New Academic Commons, or at the NAP Center. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. But don't miss that concert. <laughs> no. And I just want to emphasize it as you said that if you have friends that don't live in the Salisbury area if they're in Tawa County or Dorchester County there are opportunities to hear the ensemble but it is definitely worth the trip to come to Salisbury for the full concert is that fair to say fair to say absolutely thank you Tara thank you Dr. Wright and everyone watching I look forward to seeing you on September 17th 7 30 p.m. Asbury United Methodist Church the doors will open an hour before the concert. You will want to be early. We expect it to be a sold out concert. You will want a good seat. Yes, you can hear and see from the balcony, but you're going to want to be right up front to watch these classically trained singers bring their magic and bring their gifts to you.